Okie dokie. Today, I actually feel like playing something different. I've kind of felt like doing this channel. I've, well, obviously I want to focus on BMX games, skate games, that sort of content. But at the same time, like sometimes I just want to do something else. Maybe introduce a game that's maybe not well known or not enough people know it, I think. Just kind of have time to do other stuff and maybe just talk about general nonsense. And this is a game that I've been playing for quite a while since it came first came to Steam. And it's recently just been released 1.0. It's called Noiter. It's like a... What do you call it? Like a rogue-like light? Basically, you get to, your aim is to get to the bottom. Get to the boss, kill it, win the game. Except that's one way of playing it. But there's like a billion different hidden things and actual like way harder stuff to do. And the cool thing about this game, obviously, like just hearing that there's tons of games that do that sort of thing. Everything in this game is a pixel. And each pixel is simulated physics wise. Which means everything reacts with everything else. Like this has a fire inside when you smash it. Sets fire to stuff. If there was something wooden here, if this was a wooden thing, that would set on fire, start reacting. It's basically just tons of different reactions and tons of different weird stuff going on. Obviously every time it's random. And there's a good chance I'll die quick in this game. Just because that's the way the game is, generally. Mm. You start off with these two wands. Actually, it's been randomised from the pre-1.0 update. But now, usually this was bombs, but now I've got like a rain cloud making thing. Liquid and stuff like that is also physics based. So this rain cloud is making a ton of water, which is going to flow down and do all this stuff react with anything else, it would stop fires, it would... Uh, if there's like something electric nearby, it would electrify the water. So you can actually like combine water and electricity to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Obviously you'll kill yourself, unless you have like a perk which stops you from getting electrocuted. Which there is. There's tons of different enemies and different things as well. Get to see an example of the explosion, which this is wood, as you can see for this text here. It sets fire to a bunch of stuff. This is not much wood, so it's not really going to make much of a difference, but sometimes you can have, like, if all of this set on fire, things will get a bit crazy. I wonder if there's a way. Out. I'm not going to stress too much about playing properly, because the first time, I don't know, showing people, I just kind of want to make it look interesting more than anything, so it's probably better to just that crazy and die rather than get to the end of the game. If I die really quick, I may try this daily practice run, which kind of sticks you somewhere in the middle of the game with a bunch of random wands, these things. And you pretty much like, every time I've tried it, you've been in some sort of crazy situation. So that's also a good example. When you kill enemies, this gold appears. You use this gold to buy stuff. You can either buy wands or perks. The guy throws grenades. Got no way of going down because I don't have a bomb. Anybody who likes... Kind of... I don't know. Some people have said they like my voice. Or me being kind of chill when I'm doing this stuff. This is a pretty chill game until, well, everything goes to shit. So in that sense, I could maybe put this on and go to sleep. Don't know. Why not, right? If it works, I'm not going to complain. Okay, those guys... This stuff is toxic sludge. Which, if you get it on yourself, you might... Wait, I'm trying to speak in Japanese for me. When you're wet, 
uh, this little icon above your head comes up. So this tells me that I'm wet, so if there's like a fire or something, I'm less likely to set on fire. If I jump into this sludge, that will come up here as well and I'll start getting poisoned and lose health. This is alcohol, which also makes you more flammable. There's not really much benefit to doing that, because if I walk on that fire, I'll set on fire pretty easy. And then you use one of these. Wait, what was what are these again? Chaotic polymer. That will change me into something else, which is not good. Ambrosia. If I pour something on myself or jump into water, I can kind of stop the fire. But if you don't have that, you just end up running around taking tons of damage. I haven't found any wands, which is a bad sign so far. Yeah, they. Oh, what do I do? Does this work? Okay, Ambrosia protects you. I don't really know much about these things. Those things shoot acid for blood. But as you can see, pretty much everything underneath is melting away now. All this green stuff is super deadly if you touch it now on fire. Quick. Does this not, like, help me? Okay. Standing in blood gives you more critical hits. So it's actually a good idea to be in blood all the time. If you can. This is a little hard to explain. That the cast delay here means there's a 0 0.25 second delay between these two shots firing. And once this cycle's done, this re recharge time, 0.43 seconds happens, and then you can do this process again. This, in comparison, the cast delay is 0.03 seconds, so it'll shoot these through really quick, and the recharge is about the same. So, this is the slower one. This is the faster one. As you can see, like, these three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the charge happens here. That's the like, recharge time, so you can do it again. I don't have enough money, so I should probably try and like pick up some more gold before I go to the next... That's where you go to get to the next area. I don't have anything explosive, so I can't blast through walls. This is kind of an inconvenient situation. Honestly. The acid's melted through a lot of stuff. Almost into the temple. I don't actually know what that is. Like some sp I don't know. There's a lot of unknown stuff in this game for me. Some people have played enough and like know everything. But it's pretty ridiculous how deep all this stuff goes. You know what? Instead of running around like a headless chicken, like trying to find gold or whatever. We'll figure it out. This is where you go in between stages to kind of heal up or you recover your health, you recover any of these things. Energies. Good one. Chainsaw is super important. Cars, it lets you cut through walls to get gold. I right, set so this one sheet. There's also something really complicated about this. You look on the bottom left, where it says re recharge time, minus 0.17 seconds. It actually makes this recharge time here quicker. So you can actually fire your three shots, and then this recharge, instead of being 0.42 seconds, is 0.2 something. It does it a lot quicker. It's a double spell. I don't know how this combination works, to be honest. Oh, it's random. Okay. This is the shuffle spell, so it doesn't do this in order. It does everything randomly. Oh, wow. I didn't actually notice this is a thing. This is a new thing for this update. It's actually telling you the order of stuff that's happening. That's really cool. 
So it's sometimes doing this combination and firing everything quick, but sometimes it'll be in a random order and not be so quick. But even so, this is way better than what I've got up until now, so... Then you pick up your perks. Okay, we'll do this on one video then. We'll get an extra life. Because that's pretty big. The chainsaw won't... Oh god. The chainsaw won't really work. Uh oh, so the Ambrosia... It's like a defense thing. It's actually stopping the fire from damaging me. Which is cool. Yeah, with a chainsaw, if I had like a proper wand, I'd be able to cut into this and get a load of gold and get rich fairly quick. But because I've stuck it to this, I've kind of gone with a fence more than anything. Probably wasn't a good idea, because yeah, I'm not going to be able to... I guess I can, it's just going to take forever. I'm going to drown in the process. Yeah. Again, I don't want this to be like a... super ridiculously slow, long... boring video. Is this a dead end? Yeah, I've forgotten already. Dip in this. I guess it only lasts. It kind of runs out pretty quick. I guess when you move or run or whatever, it kind of resets. Okay. These things have like lava for blood, so that will. Jesus, 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 Jesus. That guy's actually holding a wand. Some of the enemies can pick up wands. And if there's something really powerful, that can be a nightmare. This thing. It's not great. But. Okay, this is one way of getting through stuff. It's just extremely low. Okay. So, I opened a chest with something electric in it. And because I was in water, I electrocuted myself. And promptly died. This is basically what happens in this game. It's just like, oops, accidents waiting to happen. So, okay, let's go out once. This is a terrible way of showing this game. I'm really not that great at it. Okay, I accidentally quit the game instead of starting a new game for whatever reason. So... There's different modes. There's a daily run, which is kind of similar to the new game, except you have a specific wand and everybody plays the same seed. Like once every 24 hours. There's Nightmare. Which, you get it once, completing the game, which makes it more challenging. I've not really tried that one. Then there's this one. You start a run from a randomized spot with randomized items. This is also like a random seed that changes every 24 hours, but it's usually you've got a bunch of stuff and it's kind of a crazy situation, so maybe a better way of seeing some of the other parts of the game, because that last attempt I didn't even get through the second part of the map. So, let's see where we... A lot of weird stuff. Okay, we've got a shotgun. Wow, it's not actually a shotgun. Okay. I'm straight down after a short while. What would this do with the shotgun? It makes it hit something and shoot down, I guess. It doesn't have to hit something, but... And... Could we... 
double shot this. We're gonna go with this for now. This? We got anything that will actually like shoot this that's good enough? Nope. This saw blade's pretty cool, but it's also huge and deadly. So I'm probably gonna skip that one. This is Yeah, don't need that. These are a little hard to explain. I can't afford this one, reduce recharge time, which would make this shoot quicker. Which is a shame, because that would be nice, but... What do we have? Always cast, which means that if it's one that's just got a fixed number of attacks, it just turns infinite. Project projectile duplication, I've never tried that one before. Your projectile is supposed to have a chance to duplicate, but you're more vulnerable to projectile damage. I guess it's useful for a shotgun, because it will make it spread out more. But or, okay, this should be pretty interesting, because this is a this is the th fourth stage. Oh, Jesus Christ! Straight away. As you can tell, things can go wrong extremely quickly. Ambrosia won't work. Look. Something to stop me from being on fire, please. Jump into blood. Okay, this is more like it. If you want to see how ridiculous this can get. Jesus. That I'm not gonna kill with a shotgun. Okay, go away, go away, go away. I get the feeling I'm gonna die here pretty quick as well. Because what I have isn't really good enough to deal with all this stuff. I guess you can, it's just it's gonna be a nightmare. Red. Uh, oh, okay. Those snipers are a pain as well. Where's that? Where's that here? You also get like weird stuff happening. Like this shouldn't even be on this map, but I don't even know what this room is. A bunch of stuff's changed since I played it, or stuff that I've never really seen before has appeared. Like, this thing keeps growing and just... If there's anybody who's, like, knowledgeable about this game, please feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong. That's probably a lot, but... Oh, shit. I see this one, but it's gonna kill me. Shit, 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 shit. This is just like the right level of carnage. It may be like fun to do this now and again, just load one of these up. If I'm not feeling inspired to do anything else, just try and like survive. I don't have the skill to survive, so I'll probably just end up in... Okay, kill the sniper, kill the sniper. We've got 20 health. This is not going to go well. Kind of happy that we got something pretty interesting. He's got a wand. This isn't going to be good, is it? The scary thing is you don't know what kind of wand that is. If it was like an electricity wand, then we'd both be killed. Ooh. 
Okay, 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 okay. Survive, 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 don't worry. another thing which I didn't really get to show like the physics aspect like just shoot a hole through the floor though with this black hole which I can't use okay 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 we're gonna get out quick okay we survived that's a start Plus, maybe if I put that on here, this would be pretty good. None of these ones can use the black hole. Oh, this one can. Black holes are super useful because you, it just basically creates this hole you can get through. Um, I'll show you. It's easier to do that then. More gold, more health. Probably more health because I'm going to get screwed over. Oh boy. I kind of hate this stage because this one is usually the point where I just feel like stuff's out of control and I don't know what to do. Oh shit. Big boss guys. If you kill them, you get lots of gold. But they're usually followed by like tons of those smaller dudes. It's just kind of easy to feel overwhelmed on this map. Well, it's kind of easy to get overwhelmed anyway, to be fair. Yeah, this part should just like, think about getting the hell out. Poison. Stuff something. Like that. You see what I mean about this game being crazy? There's a black hole. Shoots through stuff. And we're out. Did I get anything done that time? Nope. Not really. Is there anything good around here? I don't really want any of this stuff. I think I can use this one. No, no, no. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining this stuff because I don't really have anything useful to use with it. It's a double trigger, so this, when it's cast and hits, it triggers the next two things. So it'll be these two green shots. So you can see there's like two that jump out of it. The only problem is this is crap. So maybe this will be... We're playing for fun. We're testing stuff out. We'll see if this works better. Okay. That might be a thing. We got the shotgun. We got this. We got... Whoa. Where did that guy come from? Okay, we're getting an extra life. We'll see how far we go. Come on. How... Why was that... Electrified? What happened? Could, what? What? Fair enough? Well, anyway. I kind of wanted to just introduce this game and show you how crazy it is. And this was a pretty good example of it, to be honest. Let me know what you think. Obviously, I'm going to keep doing hype and everything else the most. It's just for those odd days when I want to try other stuff. I maybe like stick a few rounds of this in. Just because it's fun. And like, as you can see, it's just com a complete mess half the time in a good way. So yeah, let me know what you think. If everybody hates it, I probably won't do it. If you do like it, I'll do it now and again. Like once every few weeks or maybe just like a separate video at the weekend. It's like something a little bit different. There was another game, Night Runners, as well, which I was kind of curious about. Which, um, it's like a, if you ever played Tokyo Extreme Racing, Tokyo Extreme Battle, 
It's not out yet, but when it comes out, I really want to play a lot of that, so that may also be something that I wouldn't mind playing. Or if there's anything you'd like me to try, then please let me know. Any other unknown skate, various other games, I'll be down to try that as well. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.